Welcome back again. This is Fox for the next instalment in our Anno 1800 playthrough. Today we're going to be talking about high-end skyscraper goods and specifically toys, violins, billiard tables. This is Crown Falls. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. All of the production is now set up for 9 million investors. This is biscuits, typewriters, this is all the lacquer we'll need for the whole save. Still toying with the ideas what to fill in between the uh, chemical plant lacquers over here. I've started putting some resin here. I may well fill the rest with grapes. I may put some population on here, but honestly, I don't think I need to. Um, I'll just quickly show you. I have built up a population of investors, um, engineers on the island, mainly just to boost the workforce while I am still researching for things because obviously the research institute needs 10,000 engineers while it's doing stuff if this wasn't there I'd be 9,400 in the blue in the red so small population of engineers for now they will go I'm trading for their goods in Docklands it's basic stuff just keep it filled up Population. Um, I really wanted to have all of the factories in place so I could work the workforce out down to the T you can see I'm 600 so engineers left when I've finished all my calculations and everything's up and running. The artisan workforce is a little bit more, but I have still got to turn this island into population. And the shopping arcades use quite a lot. They use 264 each. And if you've got three, if you've got five groups of three, that can be quite a few. What would that be? 750, 375. So. 3,750, sorry, just to supply the shopping arcades. But yes, I wanted to talk about toys, violins, and billiard tables. Now, billiard tables and violins are being supplied on all islands by a specialist in the town hall, which is this dude, Blue Skies Delivery Service. Affects all skyscrapers. Residents with the department store, furniture store, or drug store need fulfilled are provided with chewing gum, billiard tables, and violins. So, 98%, well, you could say 90% of all islands are being covered by town halls. You can see I try and fit stuff in between the town halls where I can to utilise the space, to um, minimise the amount of houses that don't have access to that Blue Skies bloke, so, which is shrinking down the amount of violins, billiard tables, and... Uh, yeah, violins, billiard tables, this chewing gum, I am making over in the new world. We'll look at that in a bit. So yeah, these this video is just going to be going over the gaps in town halls in effect. Just the small amount of stuff that we need to keep things running. So I created a whole island over here dedicated to making toys, billiard tables, and violins. Now the toys are not produced, uh, not supplied in the town halls, so we need quite a few of them. If I bring in an influence bonus. my calculator, this is now worked out for 9,244,050 investors. You can see we need 292.56 tonnes a minute of toys. That is taking into account all the reductions I've got from the newspaper and anything that can affect them. Affect them. 296 tonnes. 229 tons, sorry, that was. I'm making 236 on this island. Just check that again. I'm making 236. I needed 229, so we're making six tons a minute more than what I would need for 9 million investors. Now, the toys are pretty easy. They need cherry wood. I decided to make the cherry wood for these on this island. Here's the cherry wood, it's real straightforward. The three items that uh, I am making some citrus here actually I could have shrunk the amount of space these needed by using three items that reduce the um, density but I need that much citrus anywhere I can make it ie by making it from other orchards I am because it saves space in the new world so I needed 161 tons of cherry wood I'm making 168 on this island and 35 tons of citrus as a byproduct which is a little bonus the next thing that the toy manufacturers need is felt. We'll go over that in a minute because that's in a new ward. They need celluloid. Now, celluloid, 
just for this island, we need 366. Now, I am over making on the billiard tables by quite a lot. So, billiard tables need felt, celluloid, and uh, cherry wood as well. Toys need cherry wood. The toys need felt, celluloid, and lacquer. But yeah, the billiard tables. I'm over overproducing these by way more than what we need. You can see I've got 2.4 million investors globally at the minute. And if we go to all islands... Go to billiard tables. You can see I'm making 21 tons a minute. Now 21 times by... It's roughly four times... Would mean 84 tons of billiard tables a minute I need. If I stick to the same sort of production that I'm doing at the minute, minimise the gaps between the tunnels, I would need 84 tons a minute. So I'm making 130 tons. So that's 50 tons more than what we need. Now if I quickly pause all toy production, this shows me that I need 130 tons of celluloid just for the billiard tables. 130 tons. It's one ton a minute for one billiard table. But if I'm making 80, if I only need 80 so, that means I can reduce that by 50%. Re reduce that by 50 tons in a minute. Oh, now, what will become apparent in a minute why I'm telling you this? Because if we take 50 tons off of 366, that means 315 tons-ish a minute this island will need at full capacity. Now, if we go over to the new world... I've got one island here, Soloid Boss, making 320 tons a minute. So this whole island here, Soloid Boss, in the New World, we'll be going over this in a separate video. This is making enough celluloid for all of the billiard tables and all of the toys I need in this whole playthrough. That means I can constantly ship the celluloid from this island to that island, and I know I will have exactly or a little bit more than what we need to keep everything running which is absolutely fabulous. It worked out perfect. I couldn't have asked for the numbers to be better. So yes, toys. The felt, I said we'll go over in a minute. The lacquer, I mean, the amount of lacquer we need for this whole island is 266 tons a minute. We go over to Crown Falls. I'm making a thousand tons a minute of lacquer on this island. A thousand. If it was flat out. Um, we do need an awful lot of quartz, an awful lot of resin, an awful lot of ethanol, but it's all covered for. Quartz, I'm making 300 tons a minute on here. Just under 300 tons a minute. I need another 300 tons, but it's all being traded for. It's all accounted for. I've got a special dedicated section in my um, trade bit for Cape Quartz. Perhaps I haven't set it up yet. This is what I've been doing recently, sorting this extra quartz out that we need. Yeah, there's one of them. So yeah, suffice to say, those 300 tons are being traded for on three little islands. So enough quartz will be coming in here to cover that. So that's the toys done then. Toys, piece cake, felt. Again, I'll show you in a minute, but... Toys, celluloid, celluloid boss, the giant celluloid island I just showed you in the new world is creating all the celluloid. The lacquer's being made on Crown Falls and shipped over here. The felt's coming from the new world, which we'll touch on in a bit. The billiard tables, the cherry wood, I showed you earlier. This is all being dealt with. I should probably show you the specialists I'm using in these. Um, and there's not even one in that. Awesome. That means I can boost them by even more, and that means I can reduce the number of these here. So yes, yeah, first to say, when I make these, I'll be able to shrink this down even more. Shrink this down even more. Excuse me. Maybe put some more orchards on here to top up the cherry wood that I need for my cognac. But yeah, these are three items that I like to use. The Get Rich Quick Volume 8. This is a plus 50% productivity. Reduces the maintenance cost by 15. This is the best one by a mile. It's 75% productivity, minus 10% workforce. Increases the maintenance cost, but so what? This one plus 40%, 45% productivity. Um, increases the chance of illness, but again, doesn't really affect much at all. So flat out, I mean, these are all on, so we're not going to be able to see one that's running flat out. They get a big boost, put it that way anyway. They get an electricity boost plus another 
75 and 55 is 830, 175. 60 percent productivity from the Department of Labor. So yeah, we're at 300 and some percent for the toys. <clears throat> the reason I've got them on their own island over here and not on Crown Falls is because I really wanted to use the workforce reduction <clears throat> that a palace can bring. Um, you see me working out the numbers at the start of this video. Um, if I didn't reduce all of these by 50% workforce, which this Department of Labour is doing, I would not have generated enough workforce from the town halls in the Cape to make it all. I would have had to put it in the old world, and I really didn't want to do that. I only wanted to use one medium island in the old world for production, which is making the cognac. So it made sense to use this weird, horrible-shaped island in the Cape to make all these. So yes, as I said, Palace, minus 50% workforce, very, very important. This whole island is using 16,555 artisans. Just a few of the other tiers because we've got um, orchards, we've got mines and stuff. So yeah, very, very important for me to get the workforce down on a lot of this production. So yeah, it made sense to put it over here on its own island. So. Billiard tables, felt, we'll go over in a minute. Violins, a uh, piece of cake as well. They use cherry wood, which we've already gone over. They use steel. I decided not to trade for it. I needed to use the mines on this island to generate me the oil to run the power plant to cre create the electricity. So instead of just dumping the coal and the iron out on another island to keep it flowing to give me the oil, I decided to make the uh, steel on this island. So we've got small production of steel over here. See, down here. I'm using the Bechamel converter, plus 60% productivity, minus 50% workforce. I'm using a Ferros for another plus 50. I'm using uh, Lord Footprints Gargantuan Smokestack to act for another plus 50% productivity. So these are getting a massive boost again. They're getting the minus 50% workforce again. Um, because the Bechamel converter gives us minus 50, I could boost them by more, but... I was making more than I needed, so I've reduced it down. Yeah, piece of cake, violins. I'm hardly having to make any. It's ridiculous the amount of violins that you need. I'm making 30 at the minute. The demand for violins across all islands is only four. If we do four, four times four is only 16. So again, I'm probably making double the amount of violins I need again. I mean, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're easy using the same items as what I've shown you in the toy production, which is Get Rich Quick Volume 8, Get Rich Quick Volume 5, Get Rich Quick Volume 9. So 5, 8, and 9. <clears throat> Violins, piece of cake, toys, we've done. Billiard tables, we've done. They're all using the same three items. So yeah, I thought it was really cool. Real good idea to squeeze it over here. This is pretty much perfection over here. There's not much dead space at all, I mean... We're talking on the whole lot. On, around the edges, there's a bit, but it's just dead space. There's no point trying to get any houses on here. No point trying to squeeze any farms in there. This island was always going to be for production anyway, so I couldn't really care less if a quarter of it was left. I mean, if it was, I would fill it with other orchards, but... Yeah, really, really happy with how this turned out. Oh, that's there. I'm not producing enough charcoal anyway. So yeah, the only thing we didn't go over is felt. Now, I was going to trade for the felt, but I had a bit of dead land or free space on an island over here on my sugar island. My sugar slash bananas slash grape slash felt island. I had this little peninsula bit up here and this bit here, which was doing nothing. So I decided to make the felt over here. Now, the Amazonas... That's productivity for the thing. I've got the New East sugarcane facility in Friday. Boost the sugarcane. Yeah, so there's nothing from the botanical garden affecting the, the felt production. I, ha I have, however, got the origin of mankind over here. This is just a 10% boost and a minus 5% workforce. So I had a little bit more dead space when I finished everything. So why not increase production and bring the workforce down? But yeah, felt. Turns out it's very, very easy to make an awful lot of felt. I mean, if we felt globally, 
we need 366 tons it's telling me but remember we were over making by 50 tons or so on the billiard tables so that's going to drop down 50 50 off 366 is 310 we're making 318 tons of felt on this island if it was all running so yeah, felt, as I said, it turns this out it's really easy short. to make a lot of felt. This is all the space I needed. A couple of clusters of, uh, obviously, the alpaca farms. Two, three clusters of felt producers. No space here. And then we had it all. Um, could have easily traded for it, but dead space in the new world, I thought, why not just make it? It's one less thing I've got to worry about. It'll be a constant flow. I wanted that island to run seamlessly. Nothing is being traded for that is used on that island the steel the steel was being made the felt's being Workforce made shortage. the obviously the celluloid and the lacquer's all being made i didn't want to well i just didn't want to trade for the felt because i had this space over here so we'll quickly talk about the arms i've got over here got varying different ones depending on what i had in stock at the time suffice to say um i easily had enough room to do what i wanted so i've got three fine yards here these all give Three different boosts of 70% with varying different amounts of maintenance cost. In this one I've got the livestock farmer which reduces the workforce by an awful lot. Uh, and then the printing press and a feed yard. This one's got two feed yards and a ferras. So varying different amounts of workforce. But our know, pack of farms. None of them, oh they do have silos. The corn, where is the corn coming from? That's interesting. Oh, I'm making it here. Here. I've got one corn, corn farm. <laughs> Two corn farms. Two corn farms making me all of the corn that I need for all of these alpaca farms here. And these alpaca farms here. These again, same deal. I've got a livestock farmer, press, and a fabulous feed yard. Uh, I believe I'm boosting them. Yeah, I'm boosting the alpaca farms. I'm boosting the felt by 50. I'm boosting everything. Everything that's being made on this island is being boosted. I could have probably even boosted the corn as well. I could, but obviously I didn't need to. Um, sure, boosted. This is a very, very, very productive island, all in all. It's making me 300 tonnes of sugar, 85 tonnes of fish oil, which is going back to the island making sugar somewhere else. It's making me, excuse me, 500 tonnes of banana, which I'm just chucking away at the minute. 61 tonnes of grapes, 320 tonnes of felt. Some grain, potatoes, peppers, tallow, which is going to uh, the biscuits. Very, very good island. Good use of space. Yes, the bombing weavers, the felt producers, these are all at zero work for us. I'm using the classic, classic press, ferrous, and bell. Now, this gets you to 100, 225% boost with the working conditions, and they are zero workforce, so no workforce needed to... No workforce needed to run anything on this island, to be fair. All of the farms at zero workforce. Sugar plantation, the sugar refineries at zero workforce. Sugar canes, banana, banana plantations, and uh, I'm sure a few of these are using workforce. Maybe the one where it was a ferrous. Yeah, look, the one where it's got a, the three feed yards, it's nine per alpaca farm. But you get 200 free workforce on the island anyway, so might as well utilize it instead of worrying about zero workforce. So yeah, that's it. That was the felt. Pretty cool little island. What are we at? 18 minutes. Yeah, that worked out well. I was really happy with how this turned out. Uh, this has been done for quite a while now. The only thing that's changed is that um, I have turned all of them on. I know they're all not working, but I turned all of them on. I did delete uh, a good stock of the billiard tables, a good stock of the violins, and a good stock of the toys from the island. Um, just to see how it worked with the incoming goods from elsewhere. And made sure that the felt kept up. Made sure that we had enough workforce to run it, obviously. So yeah, as I said before, all of the workforce in the Cape is being generated by town halls. By this. It's the um, this Creative Cuisine Act. Where is my palace? It's the Department of... The Department of Administration, you can see every town hall in the street range of a local department gives me 300 workforce, so that's why in the Cape I'm generating 44,800 artisan workforce, 53,000 engineers because I've got 10,000 
44,800, 44,800. So I'm generating 44,800 of each tier of workforce just from having these town halls. Worked out really well because the production islands I'm making use of, where well, I can, I'm making use of the reduced, 30% reduced need for all foods. So not only am I getting free workforce, all the skyscrapers within the range of a town hall, um, I don't need to make them. I need to make them 30% 30, 30 less biscuits and chocolate. Now, when it comes to trading, chocolate is quite a high-valued good, and obviously the biscuits are a massive pain to make because they need citrus. The tallow and the uh, flour is no bother. The tallow, I'm trading for a lot of it. I'm making about 400 tonnes from fisheries. The rest of it's being traded. The flour is easy-peasy. It's just uh, flour mills. Obviously, I'm trading for all the grain. But the main meme is the citrus. You can see I need 832 tons of citrus. Now, all islands at the minute. I'm making 703 flat out. So I'm 130 tons short of citrus. But I still have this space here. This space here. And... This island here is now obsolete. So I've got another whole island here that I can delete to create me more citrus if I need be. But I still have got some cherry wood to make, I believe, worldwide. That's saying when you need 383, but all of the cognac production in the old world is not up and running yet because I simply do not have the workforce for it. So my calculations were correct. I need about another 100 tonnes of cherry wood. So I'm going to clip that through one of the mediums at Orleans over here to get me that, which will produce about another 35 tonnes of citrus. So I'm probably going to be about 100 tonnes of citrus short all in all. So I'll have to just use that Sally Lord one island or that other hybrid island that I had over there to take care of that. But for now, yep, yeah, that has been it. Crown Falls is looking good. I've got hybrid production over here for trading. I've got bicycles, obviously. They're the best thing to do because you get the advanced weapons, motors, pocket watches, and gramophones. I am using the motors from these, along with a little bit more motor production here, to produce me 210 tonnes of elevators a minute. 211 tonnes of tonnes. 211 tons of elevators a minute I'm only using a fraction of these at the minute um, I will be swapping whatever I don't use I will be swapping it out and just utilizing these in the end but yeah elevators very very highly they are the most valuable valuable good in the game so make your elevators from the motors that you get free from your penny farthings cape is done apart from that this is the 8040 all in we did this island's done. This island's done. This island's done. This island's done. This is Moscow Island I'm just using for research. All the rest of the little islands are being used for cherry wood and other various things. This one's making the veneers for the elevators. This one's making me 300 and some tons, 380 tons of steel. Which will be used for the typewriters. Then the rest is just making cherry wood. All cherry wood and citrus. Yes, good, good, good progress. I am at 2,815,000 globally. 243,000 of that being investors. I'm sure you saw my video of the elders in Ambessa. I've got 267,293. 9 million global population should be reachable right as always please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it like subscribe share link in the description to my discord and my twitch when I finally get into my new house so I can start streaming you'll be the first to know this is the next island in the old world, which I'm about ready to upgrade to skyscrapers. You can see. Cover your 
got the penny farthings working. Got some basic import exports going. As soon as everything's full, which it looks like it is, we are good to go. Yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.